Hi, welcome to another video. So, do you remember Cerebrus Coder? Well, I think you would because, if you remember, I had mentioned it in my Val Townie video. It was a quite simple Val Inner app that could generate apps with Cerebrus inference, which means that it was really very fast to generate stuff. But now it is a proper usable project that is different from Val and it's not anymore a hobby-looking interface. It's a proper thing now, and it's fully free. So, let me tell you about it. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform that gives you access to more than 10 models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and even image generation models like Flux, and video generation models like Kling, and much more, all in one place, for a price that's even cheaper than one chat GPT membership, starting at only $11. Not just that, they have a bunch of AI tools that can help you use these models in intricate ways. They have also recently added an artifacts feature to their platform that now allows you to generate code, preview it, and share it with others using preview links, which is great. It can even run Python code and create charts. You can check them out through the link in the description and make sure to use my coupon code KING25 to get an additional 25% off these already great deals. Now, let's come back to the video. So, what's Cerebrus Coder? Well, it's an AI artifacts thing that's free to use and also open source, and is super fast because it uses Llama 3.3 via Cerebras, which is insanely fast. Now, some of you may ask, what is Cerebras? Well, it's an AI inference platform that gives you open source models, and the best part about them is that their API is free with some very generous rate limits, and their inference is super fast as well. It's one of the fastest ones. I already have a proper video on it. So, you can check it out. Anyway, now, this Cerebrus coder also uses Cerebrus's Llama, and if you have seen my Llama 3.3 video, then you'll know that the Llama 3.3 model is extremely good. Now, what this Cerebrus coder can do is that it can generate apps in literally seconds with Llama 3.3. So, let's ask it to make me a good-looking to-do app that looks sleek and modern. Once we send it, you'll see that if we wait for like a little bit of seconds, it's now done, and the code is here, and we can also see the preview here. It took less than a second, along with a very high speed of tokens per second, thanks to Cerebrus. If we see the preview, then you can see that this also works great and is pretty cool to see. You can also refresh it here as well, and you can also take the URL and share it with others as well, which is also a great touch to see. Now, we can also ask it to make changes to it as well. Let's ask it to make the colors look red. Let's send it here. Now, if we wait for just a little bit, you can see that it's now done and it looks pretty good now with the colors that we wanted. So, this is pretty insane. You can also go back to the previous version of the generation as well by just clicking the option here, and this will take you back or forth based on what you select. So, that's super cool. One thing that's a little bad is that it can only generate HTML, CSS, and JS one-page code, which means that it is only valuable if you're trying to make some kind of very simple app, or if you're trying to maybe make some components quite easily. You can also share the exact versions as well via here. Like, if you only want to only share the previous version, then you can do that, which is also kind of very cool. Let's also try to make something more complex. I'm going to ask it to make me a game of life. It's pretty complex to make on a web thing. Let's see. Okay, it's now done. And we have these options here. 
Let's randomize the start. And now let's start it. Okay. This is working pretty fine. So, this is pretty great to use. So, that is basically how you can use it. But, if you use it, then sometimes you may hit some rate limits, because what happens is that they are using their API key, which is also being used by others who are using this platform as well, which will make you hit the rate limit many times. So, what you can do is that you can fork it and use it as well with your own API keys. Since Cerebras is free and great to use, you can just put in your free API keys and use it all you want without any limits. So, let me tell you how you can just use it with your API keys on the web itself. You can just click this fork on Valtown thing. This will take you to this page. Now, this is Valtown. These are the guys who have made Cerebras Coder. If you don't know what it is, then it basically allows you to write simple bits of code, like GitHub Gists, and then you can run it as an API, or on a schedule and stuff like that. I had covered it in the Townie video, so you can watch that. So, that's basically how it works. But, that's not required to understand. Now just click this fork button, and it will get forked on your profile. Now, you can use it. But, you'll need to put in your API key as well. So, just get it from Cerebras, and then go to your profile environment variables, and put in your API key here like this. Now, you'll need to go to the fork thing back, and click on the profile here, and then click this Cerebras coder system, prompts thing, and fork this as well. Once you have done that, you can now go back to your things and just click this Cerebras coder here and just open it up. Now this is running with your own API key and you can use it all you want and it's free. You can just access this URL anytime and it will be just yours to be used personally. It's quite cool as well. If you want to use it locally, then you can just copy the code of Cerebras coder through here. It's all just one file. So, that shouldn't be an issue. And then just put it locally and run it as well. So, this is also great and should work well for the most part. It is great to see. And technically, it can't render React code, but it can generate it. So, you can maybe make it generate that and render it yourself in a file. Or you can also probably just use Cerebras with Klein or Ader. The new Llama 3.3 model is the one making this possible because it's an extremely great model that just works well for the most part. This is one of the most amazing coders because it takes less than a second. I had also covered it in the Townie video, but it was not as polished back then, but now it is. So, you can use it for free and get some outputs with it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.